for a week and was gonna more moisture put in it during that week helped strengthen it another like 50 60 70 percent unlike cement you don't water it you let it dry out because it's got a lot more water in it when you pour this has a very insignificant amount of water so that it'll stick so then you have to really water it down afterwards to get it to activate and harden up so we've been watering it all weekend with sprinklers and hand watering it we did it Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So we're a couple more days and we'll be done. Pablo. Right. Yeah, he should be up here right now. He's How you doing? Cool, man. Really? Seriously? You're gonna do that? That's fucking mean, man. <sighs> yep. Uh, 133 and a quarter. 133 and a quarter. Here. The last piece where we did, or are we gonna cut the exact size? I think I got it over here. Yes, we're. Yeah. Hey, I cut this one right here, so we can use that for here and bend it. I cut it. So, oh, it's gonna be one whole. Yeah, or maybe we shouldn't do. It's gonna be covered with wood. You're never gonna see the outside of it. Yeah, which is, I mean. Yeah, just let's just use it. Let's just make as much as we can with the metal that we got. You know, use every fucking inch. Cause it's. Why don't we just cut that size right there? Because that'll be easier to take. Drag over there. Well, I've already got the little one there. Right yeah, there, which one? It? Oh, you want to cut that in piece? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Okay. Is that it right there? Yeah, I'd rather do that. Is that gonna? Is that the right size? No, that one I'm gonna use for here. That way I can start cutting it. Right, can I turn this on here? I'm gonna get you two leaves, brother. Hey, can I turn this on? Yeah. Yeah.
day today. Been a dark all week. Dark. Pop it out? It's in the garage. Well, we, we fucked up. Oh, really? Okay. We'll check right now. It turns on, but it'll turn off. Because uh, Pablo was still in, okay. and it got wet. No fair, one more quick Glass of wine, a pick shovel, a little concrete in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> at 172 beats a minute right now. Oh my, that was that was uh, definitely sketch.
Sucks now, Mike? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, we'll be good. So we're good there. That's a four days. Oh, okay. Justin taught me how to weld, so uh, I'm already out beating him already. It only took 30 minutes, you know. Are you going to go ahead and what are you running your electrical line and your sewer line? So once we get the, once we dig all this junk out and put it up here, we'll be able to uh, put the electrical and I'll also be able to run the sewer um, and connect it up over to the tank. Yeah. Hello. I like your truck. We don't have a, we don't have a Brent Naylor in there, right? A what? A Brent Naylor, air, a gun, a Brent Naylor gun. I mean, we got we got an air gun, we got nailers, but the big ones. Yeah, no. <coughs> Not like a state. We need to get organized here, but. Yep. So, Mike, what I want to be doing is we got to move that pipe, and maybe tomorrow when I get the skid steer, we can wait till then, so we're not just lugging it. But we got to, I think we got to move this pile of lumber because it's kind of a keeper material. I need to run a string line. Once we get the string line set up, I'll come along here. We're going to dig out four feet of this. And make a pile of it along here. And if it doesn't, if it's not too big, then we'll just leave it. Because we got to pretty much have a driveway. So I, I think all, all I'm going to do is dig about right here. And so if we put the well, material here, I think we're going to get the vehicles. Still, we were still getting bought when we had a bunch of ass lumber out here too. Yeah. So yeah, you're right. So I'll start restringing yeah. our electrical, getting this shit out of the way. We'll move that pile because it's just unfortunately it's in the way where I got to dig. And then we'll throw all this trash away right there. They're going to move that pile of lumber. So if we get this out of the way, the trucks can kind of drive close to the house mm -hmm. and then swing through here. And maybe the skid steer will, will lift this big. Clean this out uh, a little more here. Uh, uh, what? Well, the rocks and stuff. For, uh, uh, say that, right. that ro so up there, uh, the, the front door, uh, going to build here later, is we're going to hold all the dirt. We're going to pile uh, up the retaining wall right here, there, and here.
Then a feature called single hung, where the windows go up and down, obviously. For the big glass, what we're doing is, is I've got three foot wide windows that are uh, eight feet tall, and it's just glass. It doesn't open, it's called picture windows. And it's double pane like this, and it's the most economical option I can come up with. So what I'm trying to figure out is, is how these two adjoin, because these are individual windows, and they've got a joiner in the middle. And I'm trying to figure out if I darked up the order, because these things are nailed to the exterior of the house, but these are joined in the middle, so I need to get these little joiner pieces as well. Back down the hill. Check it out. Uh, this is the the tang, and then the point would be up here. The barb and set from yeah, where the, the foundation wall will be. Mm -hmm. And all we gotta do is get a piece of, of angle iron and go across and weld it on there, weld okay. the piece. So I'm looking is, is once we do that, maybe we'll have to run a piece across just to stabilize it all. Okay. And then from there, we just drop your uh, plywood in there, and that's your exterior wall. Uh, and then you're so almost you want done. A piece of angle going in, mm -hmm. yeah. connecting. Yeah. And then the I was able to hammer it in with. Uh, I'm not, I'm not too spun up on it, honestly. Okay, so we got these in, the herd cream bracing in, yeah. right? I'm going to go around, I'm going to do a whole bunch more of this. Um, these Simpson Strong Ties yeah. that, that bolt in and they bolt in on the studs. Okay. You'll see houses that have been hit by tornadoes and the entire house is gone except the, the, the 2x4, 2x6 uh, base plate. Mm. It's bolted down great, but the whole house just comes off. Yeah. So what they do is, is when they come along here, uh, this is the structural panel, right? Mm -hmm. They run the staples in the bottom, okay. and they're supposed to do them every eight inches by code. Well, Senior Laurie, he's doing it like every three, which is ain't fine by me. Yeah. Um, but what that does is, it, this is this piece of OSB is connecting this board to the plate. Yeah. Because all these are is just they're nailed in. You can actually just pull them out. So imagine a big tornado coming through, 150 knots. House is destroyed, but you want to live through it, right? House gets pushed against. And so this OSB is, is helping to hold the entire house on. Well, all in all, that's not great. So we've got our band that we're gonna put up nail on, okay. which will help hold it to the foundation. Plus, we're gonna go along and we're gonna bolt them down. And when we do that, uh, running up, you're actually connected as well. Are we just doing that on exterior walls? Exterior walls, okay. yeah. So uh, I may make this interior wall here. I may, if we have enough material, I may skin this entire wall with OSB, okay. and we'll put drywall over it. Yeah. But the reason I might do that, that's another shear wall. And there's, when you look in here, there's more uh, allocations for shear connections that he drew on the okay. plans. Like I said, it's just such a big house and it's so tall. Yeah. Um, we will probably never do three or four story house again. I mean, everything's always two stories. Yeah. But now, just so we know. Right. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna hit that board out of the way. Good? Yeah. yeah. How you hey, uh, Pablo, can I see that real quick? Please? Oh, it's not nailed to the bottom? No, it's not nailed to this. Sorry, Mike, give me one second. There we go. I guess we'll put the board right here flush with it. Questionnaire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, wrist on that. Perfect. Okay. Grab that side or I just want to do something real quick. So, yeah, let me drop this. Go down there? Yeah. Hang on. Okay, I'm good right there. All the way to the ground. No, no, I'm not there yet. We got to put sandbags, but. Yeah. But yeah, to make okay, it actually three feet. Okay. Right. Get a bigger oh. board. Oh, oh. Yeah, you have to, um, so, so, so tie it with wire. Yeah. Tie it up where it needs to be. Okay. On the metal. On yeah. around the angle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. I think you said 140, right? No, no, we're looking right here. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go right here. So 70. 74. Okay, what, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get the bobcat, pick that wood up, I'll just get it with the forks, try to get a good, good bundle of it, and then just drop it over there. Well, when he gets here, he's gonna wanna start digging from there. Uh, over. I'd say, uh, we're gonna move these batter boards. But we gotta move all that shit to the front. Yeah. Uh,
let's just move that for now. We can move this later. Uh, we just got to move that. You ought to just move it over here yep, somewhere. Yeah, and then we'll deal with it. Well, no, I'm just going to set it up there with all the other shit. Oh, okay. Are we? Are oh, we where these here? batter boards are? Yeah, just set it right up there. Okay. Right up in there. Some of these batter boards we'll use up here. Go around and dump it right there. It's out of the way for this As far as you guys want to go, That's where I want to but I, I got another job for y'all to start today, so we'll get this set up and then we're gonna we're gonna go start the next job. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Morning, Mike. I gotta go talk to some drywall guys, and don't drop a camera in the water. That's professional right there. That is awesome. Where it hits and it goes over, it can do kind of slanted just slightly. So that will have to we'll have to get a trick before that. And I don't know if he wants on the end here just to be open or if he wants like a slight perk, you know? We haven't talked about it. Right. I think it looks nice for like a, if he came out and it was just flush, and then he left a, you know, you had like a, like a bridge sort of, uh, right here. But, Yeah. 
Okay. I guess go back forward. Forward. I guess. Yeah, go, go. Three speed. In between the, those two, the T, right and center right there. Go check it out, boy. He is rolling off here. Yeah. It's already out of these three. Fuck. And I'm out over here. Both of them. Came out now. That one came out first. If you want to move it up, go easy. It's not gonna, it's not gonna go up. We just need to get it out of the way. I can't believe that. Seven or seven or eight, just big bands. And that way, where there's a big, where there's wind, it helps uh, connect it to the house. Okay. Yeah, that'd be really nice. The clips are up there. Okay. I believe upstairs. I bought two hundred. Okay. Yeah. Um, they're either in the garage or up there. So what I was saying is, for these guys, we just keep on framing this up. Yeah. Even though I have no plan to pour all the way up here, um, you know, this is, looks looks really nice. But uh, that way, we get I'm gonna get two trucks with the um, what you call it um, the with the, the fiberglass mesh in it. Okay. And then from there, we'll if we wanted to, if they got all the steel work done, then I could say let's go ahead and get another truck and they can finish this mm. if they want to. But definitely we're gonna get two trucks with fiberglass to see how far that goes. Okay. Because that's special for the dock. That does look pretty. And it'll, it'll all be covered with concrete on Monday. Technically what we did, uh, we did this nice uh, bend in for the boat, which is great. But if you ever wanna put a pontoon boat on it, the other one's for the pontoon boat because the pontoons come straight out so you can fit a bigger pontoon. And over here it could fit another boat. So it could actually fit three boats this dock. Um, however, this is gonna be more like jet skis and uh, kayaks. And so, yeah, water sports, you know. But yeah, I think I think two boats for this house is acceptable. And if you have some extra friends, we'll, we'll put some uh, on the side up here, we'll put some bumpers, boat bumpers, and then we can park the boats off the side. Yeah. My friends don't have boats, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. I, I really want to do it for this side as well because I think it looks cool, really cool. And Justin yeah. did a fantastic job because it, we made it, instead of coming to a point, we have it, it came over four feet and two and a half in the middle and over. And he, and he bent them, so it looks really, really professional. It's all done. I really wanted to do it over here too, but I was just like, yeah, I just know that a pontoon fit, would fit much better like that than this. The yeah. pontoons will strike, will strike this, this side over here. Yeah, we might have a few uh, unbalanced. Yeah. So concrete's gonna go all the way out here. So this is we're, we're gonna put a um, this entire edge right here. This board, this wood will eventually come out. But right here is going to be we're gonna pump the water out, put the concrete in, and so this will be a, like a shoreline embankment. And so the concrete will go over the top of this as they form it up. And this entire area, we're gonna put a retaining wall along there, and it's gonna go tie into the driveway. 
and uh, then we're gonna put a little, a little knockout around this tree so the tree can live. But this is all concrete walk and path that goes up that ties into the dock. Hey Robert, you see our fishing boat over here? Yeah, I saw it. Better. Hell yeah. Are you selling the generator? Uh, Go in your uh, truck, I guess. Today we are masonaries. Hmm? Mercenaries! Trying to kill! inches that way we're gonna put a rock load so six inches that way we're gonna put a two by eight and straight yeah. all along the property line okay. and then then when they have the guys before they do that I'm getting everything I can with the mini and, and the Bobcat the problem is is we, we don't want to damage any of their their foliage yeah. um, so what we can do is we can there's two little places you see where there wasn't any plants that I scraped out uh, yeah. so um, 